$10 for the sale of a controlled substance. She was pregnant when she went to prison. She reports that she gave her son to her mom and continued her time in Bethany Hills Correctional Facility. She, was booked, she went to a shop boot camp, left, right, right, your left. <laughs> she did 100 push-ups in a minute. She was voted, most likely, not to succeed. But she had a vision, a way to be home early because shop cuts a little time off your sentence. She graduated and she told me that it was a struggle. It was very difficult for her. But when she got out, there were so many barriers. Employment, housing. But at last, she got her son. She found housing. And she joined something called the College and Community Fellowship. And off to college, she went. Her and her son graduated together. Bachelor's, <laughs> straight A, master's, MSW, the good life. And then she got married. Giving numerous amounts of awards to join a true WPA, Christian Citizens Against Recidivism. She has published work in race and ethnicity in, in a journal. Positive role model, not accepting any public entitlements, working and earning her way. She is a certified National Institute of Corrections trainer on gender responsiveness, that means women, platform. <laughs> Because when this performance is over, we go back. 